All right, folks, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. I want to show you something else uh, got here about a few days ago. This is the last piece of the puzzle to uh, that backup power system that I installed. Uh, you may have seen on a recent video. Um, and uh, this is a manual transfer switch that's going to switch between <clears throat> the generator... Uh, switch between using grid power to charge the batteries with the inverter charger and, and using uh, a generator uh, power source. So this is a <clears throat> Reliance Controls manual transfer switch. It's, it's just a manual transfer switch. It's uh, not really made for anything else. And I'll show you what it looks like in, inside here. But uh, that's the outside of the box and the model number and everything. It was about 140 bucks. I got it, uh, got it from Northern Tool. I was going to get it from Home Depot, but they didn't have any in stock at the time. I wanted to order this and try to get it in time <clears throat> for the install, but it didn't end up coming in anyway. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Got some paperwork here, uh, instructions. It's uh, just a one-page thing, no pictures. Piece of cardboard to protect the switches here, and then looks like a uh, packing slip. So, uh, so this is what it looks like on the front. Um, I'm gonna pull it out of the box here so we can get a look of uh, get a look at all around. All right, so here's the front again out of the box. We've got a dual pole, uh, two dual pole uh, transfer switches, so it's made for 240 volts. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually just going to use this for 120 volts, um, so I'm just going to use one one leg of, of these uh, breakers here. But <clears throat> it says uh, this side is for utility supply, and this side is for generator supply, so you... When you open this up, you hook up the wire and it's going, to come, it's going to come from your generator up to this breaker. And then the wiring that comes from your uh, grid or utility from, to this breaker. And they're uh, attached with this uh, just piece of metal here. So it's, a, it's a piece of metal here down that's inside a groove between the two poles of the breakers. And then this guy here, you can unscrew if you want to take it off. Uh, obviously, it's not made to do that because you this this thing allows you or makes it so that you have to break the power source on one side before you make the power source on the other side. So it's a make then or break then make um, physical connection here between the two breakers. So um, you you either just push one side and they both go off, or one goes off, one goes on, or you can just do it one, one at a time. That, and then move this one over. So that's how that works. And this, this little do that just slides in between in the groove there. Makes it so you can't turn both of them on at the same time. So, um, also on the outside for knockouts, we have a lot of knockouts which is very nice uh, all different sizes. i think these are made for half inch connections and we got ones for uh for three quarter inch this might be an inch uh, if you poke all the things out of here that this this might be an inch and a half i'm not sure i don't that's definitely not a two inch one uh i got some other ones on the side here um <clears throat> on the and this is the utility side utility supply side and then if we turn it over here uh, we got a, a three on this side versus i think four on the other side you know five this is the top we've got a middle top one this looks like the bottom so the bottom is like the top so lots of knockouts again and they even have several knockouts on the back too, and mounting holes uh, for you know screws to mount it into uh, mount onto a wall. So lots of places to mount it, and and um, 
attach uh, conduit to, which is very nice. So, and as you'll see inside, there's gonna be lots of room. So I'll I'll do that now. All right, folks. So I got the screws out. <clears throat> They're just a little short stubby screw, standard bit, not Phillips. And they got a little uh, cutter on them uh, in case you need to re-thread the, the threads that are on this box casing. But anyway, I'm just going to show what those look like. So we're going to take off this panel here. Uh, I've got some text on the front if you want to see it there briefly. And then we got some text on the back here, some labels on the back showing different wire sizes and torque ratings on the breakers and uh, some other specs on this uh, this piece of equipment here so just want to show you that there's a label in here for some reason I don't know why um, this would be used for a, a sub panel or something like that so I'm not sure what, why that's in here um, maybe just labeling some things so inside here, you've got your neutral bar over here with lots of uh, connection points. And you've got your ground bar over here. And then we have the two breakers in the middle. Uh, and you see there's no other space in here for other breakers. This is just a manual transfer switch. That's the sole purpose of this uh, piece of equipment. So here's your two dual pole breakers and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these out of here if I can I point in so got this uh, this little dude that came out that you don't want to you want to make sure it's always in there when you put them back in but that's what it looks like it's just got some grooves in it that fit into the groove here in the middle of the both poles and they got some screws on there to maybe make, make some adjustments or something so that's what I got that looks like here's the breaker what it looks like Got some nice holes there for some nice uh, thick gauge wire standard screw bit size uh, there uh, let me get this other one out of here Let's see what it looks like so here's your generator uh, uh, power breaker and here's your utility power breaker and so how these are wired in uh, from reading the instructions is generator power actually comes into here uh, and then utility power comes into here in this breaker and then they they combine these the two connections here at the bottom of the breaker combine on these two lugs and the, the power that comes in these two lugs is what goes to your appliance or in this case it's going to go to the inverter charger that I'm going to um, power so you, you can choose between utility power to power uh, the appliance or in this case an inverter generator to charge batteries or we're going to use uh, the generator power at this breaker and they'll both come in this, to this common uh, lug here and then this is going to go to the inverter charger so kind of a uh, different Different routing here that normally when you see breakers or breaker panel, the wiring that come that is connected to this side of the breaker is going out to the appliance. And in this case, it's going in the opposite direction. Uh, based on just looking at the physical layout of this and reading the instructions. So uh, I just wanted to show you that. So the, these two breakers are separate. So you, so the um, the um, so the you can get the 240 volts. So each each one of these is, is your 120 volt hot leg. Uh, and actually, as I said before, I'm I'm, I'm only going to use one side of this because uh, I'm just going to use this for 120 volt. Um, that's how I'm going to hook it up. That's that's how it works here. And just wanted to show you that. Hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments of the video. And uh, I'm going, to, I'm going to be installing this soon at the, the house I worked on recently, installing that battery backup system, and uh, I'll make another video then. So until then, grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.